Hey guys, Michael Marshawn, your Ziglu Licensed Coach with you back again here as we wrap up this Wheel of Life series. Uh, this is episode eight, and this is the career spoke. So if you have not, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe in the bottom right there. So I want to just get real candid with you guys today, and I'm going to bring my, a lot of my own experience into this because this is something that I struggled with for a long time, and it took me probably the better part of about 12 years to actually break the cycle of just working a job and actually get into something that was a career. And that led me to pose the question, do you have a career or a job? Maybe you don't even know what the difference is. Maybe you presume that a career and a job are the same thing because a career by by one definition is a bunch of jobs. And while that can be true, it can also be true that you can get stuck in a job that ends up taking you nowhere, where the only reason you're showing up every day is for that paycheck. And I want to unpack that as we get into this video. But before we do that, this is the Wheel of Life, so I want to cover the 10 components that make up the career spoke. Those are love what I do, understand my job, coworker relationships, productivity, understanding company goals, understand my activity in relation to my goals, appreciate company benefits, opportunity for advancement, well trained for my job, own my business, have career path. And I want to focus on the first and the last points there because I think those really highlight most of the issues. Do you love what you do? That's a real question. Do you love what you do? Or is it something that the only reason you show up every day is for that paycheck? Now, if that's you, that's okay. I've been there. I've spent 12 years of my life just showing up for the paycheck, not because I really loved what I was doing, not because I would do it if I wasn't getting paid, by no means. It was simply because I had to pay my bills. <laughs> the only way I could pay my bills was to go to work. So I showed up at work for a paycheck, and I definitely did not love what I do. And much of that time, I didn't have a real career path. Did I get promotions? Did I get advancements? Yes. But what was it all for? What was it all working towards? At the end of the day, there really wasn't a bigger picture that I was moving towards with that. It was simply just kind of living day to day, paycheck to paycheck. And that's how I spent 12 years of my life, right out of high school. So that's one component. The other component is own my own business or have a career path. If you own your own business, then obviously you can create your own career path because you're the boss. If you're working for a company, really irregardless of the size, is there a career path forward for you? Maybe you haven't thought about that. Maybe you haven't even got that far. Maybe you're like I was those 12 years and you're just kind of stuck in a rut. You're stuck in this job and you don't feel like you can leave because you have to pay your bills. And what are you going to do if you leave your job and then you can't pay your bills? It's that whole kind of snowball effect of thinking. And that takes us to our next slide. So the biggest reason people don't leave their jobs is fear. Now, you can break fear down into any number of things. Fear of not having a paycheck, fear of what people will think, fear of what you'll do next, fear of the unknown, just generally. Like, it's much easier for people to run from pain than it is towards pleasure. And that's a proven fact. Actually, 85% of people are more likely to take action because they're avoiding pain versus going towards pleasure. And that fits within that whole context of career versus job very, very well. Because if you have a career, then you're moving towards something. You're moving towards something bigger. You have a bigger why behind your purpose at work. And that's what makes a career a career is you're moving towards something. It could very well be monetary in the sense that you're working for a specific financial goal. But almost always that financial goal has a goal behind it. So the end goal is not to make more money. The end goal is I want to make X amount of money because that's going to allow me the freedom to do X, Y, and Z, or that's going to provide the lifestyle, or I can do this for my kids and my family. Whatever it is, money is typically not the end goal for most people. Money is simply a vehicle. And that brings us to our next slide here. The only reason careers exist is to fund your dreams. So again, going back to that job versus a career analogy, if you're just doing something for the paycheck, then there's likely no dreams involved in that at all. There's no bigger purpose, no why. So that gets us into the heart of the issue is what are your dreams? That's what you need to get real down and dirty and real honest about. Because if you're like me, I'll use myself as an example. So 
for 12 years, right out of high school, I basically bounced from medical job to medical job. Uh, everything from being an EMT, uh, tried nursing for a brief period, uh, ended up in radiology for the latter part of my career. So I did everything from taking plain x-rays to orthopedic surgery to CAT scans, uh, special procedures, kind of all that stuff in between. By all accounts, you know, many people do make careers out of that. But for me personally, there was no bigger purpose behind it. There was no dream. I had no dream that I was going towards when I was working those jobs. I got promotions. I got promoted. I got regular pay raises. I made more money. But again, at the end of the day, it was more of that fear. So I stayed in that job or those jobs because of fear. Fear that I couldn't go out and be successful on my own. Fear that people would look at me differently or people would think I'm crazy if I quit my job. Fear that I wouldn't be able to find another job that I liked more. All these things that keep us stuck. It's this perpetual loop and it can keep you stuck. But what can break that loop is finding a dream or finding something that you're moving towards. And that is the main purpose of a career. Career should only exist to fund your dreams. So if you don't know what your dreams are, well, that's a perfect place to start. And that kind of gets to the heart of the issue again. It's the why. Why are you working? Why are you willing to put maximum effort into your job? Why do you do what you do? Why do you get up every morning to be on time? So in keeping with that fear theme, this is a quote that I like. This is a concept that I pulled from one of the coaching books I read recently. And that is the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. So, okay, well, it's like, 20 years is way in the past. How does it help me now? Because the reality is, guys, that the second best time to plant a tree is now. Like, yes, you could have made different choices 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Yes, I could have made different choices when I started my career right out of high school. But that's not the point. The point is that you have an opportunity to make a change now here today. And that is what I would encourage you guys to do. Start with the why, because the why is ultimately the biggest driver of anything. So if you can find a strong why, find that big dream you want to achieve and use that to be the seed that you're planting. That can be the seed that you're planting that's eventually going to grow into this beautiful career that blooms and blossoms and give you everything you want in life. But again, going back to that slide from earlier, the only reason a career should exist is to fund your dreams. So if you don't have dreams and you're not working towards something, then sadly, you're probably just stuck in a job. So final thoughts, guys. Now, I know that this can be a touchy subject, especially with COVID and everything that's happened. It's disrupted the entire business sector in general. So jobs and careers and career paths are going to look very differently. But the really, really cool thing about all this is that I have never seen the opportunities that we're seeing right now. So if you have been on the fence, if you have been maybe kind of considering it, but not able to take that step. Don't let that fear keep you stuck. Find a dream, find a big goal that you're going to work towards and let that be your motivation. Use that to quote to fear. Use that to be the kickstart that gets you out of your job and into a career and working towards your dreams. Because ultimately guys, nothing changes until you change it. The time to start is now. You can't change the past. You can't control what did or didn't happen prior to today. You can take action today and you can change what happens today and you can change your tomorrow. So regardless of what you may or may not have done in the past, regardless of what career or job choices you've made in the past, put that behind you and focus on the future. Focus on where you're going, focus on what you wanna do, what you want to accomplish, even if it's just making a certain amount of money, go deeper than that. What is it that having that amount of money will do for you? What kind of lifestyle is it gonna provide? What are you going to be able to do with that money that you can't now? I want you to get deeper with it because at the end of the day, People spend 40 years, 50 years working. So why would you want to spend that amount of time doing anything but work that you love? Now, I, again, I speak from experience. I spent 12 years in jobs that I hated or didn't particularly really like simply because I was getting paid and I felt like I couldn't leave. It was that fear aspect. So learn from my mistakes. Don't let the fear keep you stuck. Use the goal, use the dream, use the desire to achieve something and let that be the catalyst that drives you. 
So that's all I got, guys. Thanks for joining me on this series. I have really enjoyed this Wheel of Life series. Hopefully you guys got some good stuff out of it. Uh, just one small note here, as I do every week, I want to make that offer because especially in the career sector, there has never been more opportunity and change. So if that's something in particular that you guys want help with, let's jump on a call. You know, I offer these complimentary discovery calls and we can spend the whole hour just focusing on your career if that's what you like. If I do nothing else for you and we never end up coaching together, but I can help get you some clarity on where you're going with your career versus your job then that will have been time well spent for me. So again, I do have a limited number of these and when they're gone, they're gone. So I need you to take the first step, reach out to me, shoot me a text, an email, whatever it is for you. And let's get something on the books. All right, guys, again, if you, don't, if you have not, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back next Friday for more.